Okay, so we have our model here, and we're just going to uh, export that by going to the object itself, right-clicking, retopo via decimation, and then it's going to ask us what poly count we want to export it at. And this will really depend on how fast your PC is, but we're going to aim for about 100k for an object like this. You can go low, you can go higher, feel free to experiment, um, and it depends on how fast your processor is. Uh, sometimes you have to go as high as 99%. Okay, so we've got it down to 100, we're going to hit OK. And this bit's going to be sped up because it can take a little while. Then, once it's done, we're going to be kicked into the retopo room. Um, make sure everything looks normal and then go to bake. Bake with normal max per pixel and ignore all this, just hit OK. It's pretty straightforward. Then, choose whether you want to do 2K or 4K. And in this case, we're going to choose 2K. 4K will take a long time. At this stage, it is the longest uh, time that you'll have to wait. Um, don't worry, 3D code isn't crashing. It can take up to 10 minutes, depending on how fast your processor is. And we are done. Again, this is sped up a lot. And now we are ready to hide in the sculpt room. We're going to hide the original sculpt. You'll see a slight change. We're going to go into the paint room where we're ready to paint. We're not going to go into detail um, on the paint section here. So let's just assume that the shader that we have on it that we like, um, we're just going to go straight ahead and export it. File, export objects and textures. And you're going to choose a preset. Anything will do, but here I'll show you how to customize the output. You want diffuse, normal, roughness, and all that. So I'm getting rid of the cavity and adding it back just to show you what you have to do. Um, just click on JPEG uh, or whatever you want. And then on the RGB, uh, click on the drop down and choose, in this case, cavity. Give it a name, doesn't matter what. And then go in and save the OBJ in the export geometry. Hit export and you are ready to go into, in this case, Blender. So now we're in Blender and what you'll find is when you import something from 3D code it's already very big so we've got to go in and scale it down by a factor of 10%. Sometimes you need to go down to like 1% and it's looking good. So next we're just going to tweak the shader a little bit. So we're just going to uh, make sure that the normal map is in non-color and put it to 1 and sometimes just for something like this I like to add a little extra bump it can just make a slight difference I'm going to add a bump node so I'll just add a bump node here and then put the diffuse into well the bump into the normal diffuse into the height and the normal into the normal of the bump and change that down to something like put two and that just gives it a slight subtle difference and then finally the specular needs to go into the roughness and we're going to add a color ramp and just take the black point and I'm going to make that grayer so it doesn't look like shiny plastic and that is about it